Good evening. My name is Will Rauschenberger. I'm the abbot of Ordinary Zen Sangha right down the road. We just uh, finished a retreat with Jungan Sunim, so we're kind of flying high in the clouds. Now, you know. It was uh, difficult at times and uh, illuminating also. So tonight, um, Jungan Sunim, I think this is his third time here. One of the first times he broke this glass top table and he used a Zen stick. That was quite a shock. Shocked us into reality. So tonight we repaired it. Jung <laughs> um, Sunim is from the Pils Mountains in Hungary. He uh, trained in uh, Korea for six years with his teacher, Sung San Sunim, who was also uh, in America for quite a number of years as a Zen master and teacher. Zen is about awakening to our true nature. Uh, when you talk about the principles of Zen, you say that uh, Zen is not about relying on the scriptures, but it's about realizing your true nature, awakening to your mind. From there, life becomes real. Uh, rather than living in a dream, living in the constructs of what we create, rather than being opinionated, intellectually stifled by our thinking, and we open up to life just the way it is in this very moment. There is nothing else. The past is gone, the future is not here yet, but the way we live right in this moment, the way we live right now, the way we think right now, the way we view our world right now affects everything, not just us, but all those around us. Zen is also considered the bodhisattva path, meaning it's we don't do it for ourselves. Enlightenment isn't our personal goal. Awakening or enlightenment is the process that we go through in order to save all sentient beings. Because when you recognize what reality really is, you see the interconnectedness of everything very clearly, and you know for a fact that you and I are not separate, and that I have to care for you as much as you care. And that's just the way it is. That's my introduction.